now that we know a bit about our closed private puddle town economy, we can ask how would we actually go about calculating the macro equilibrium in this economy. If you look at this table, we've made an assumption about how consumption changes as income changes. In other words, we've made an assumption about how consumer behavior changes as income varies. We can represent that assumption in what we call a behavioral equation. An equation for consumption that tells us consumers are going to consume some amount A regardless of whether there's any income at all. Plus, they're going to consume some fraction B out of total income. We call that first parameter autonomous consumption. In other words, the level of consumption that's autonomous or independent of income. And we call the second parameter the marginal propensity to consume out of income. In other words, what fraction of income are you going to consume? Now we know that in equilibrium, this equation has to hold. Equilibrium GDP has to be equal to consumption plus investment. And now we have an equation for consumption. So we can plug this equation into this equation. And when we do that, we get that Y is equal to this consumption, A plus BY, plus our exogenous level of investment. Now we have income on both sides. So we'll subtract B times Y from both sides and we'll get 1 minus B times Y on the left hand side and we'll have A plus I left on the right hand side. We can then solve for Y and we get that Y is equal to A plus I divided by 1 minus B. So now we have an expression for equilibrium GDP or equilibrium income that's just a function of things that are exogenous to the model. Investment is exogenous. The level of autonomous consumption is exogenous in our behavioral equation. And the marginal propensity to consume is also exogenous in that behavioral equation. This will then be our equilibrium level of GDP. Now let's add some numbers to this to match it with the table. In the table we've assumed that consumers are going to consume 0.4 billion even if there's no income. So our A in the table is 0.4. We also assumed that as income goes up, consumers are going to consume some fraction of that income. When income goes from 0 to 2, they're going to increase their consumption by 1.6. That means that B is 0.8. They're consuming 80% of the additional income. The 2 billion, 80% is 1.6. So now we have values for A and B, and we know what the value for I is. So we can now plug our values in for this, and we'll get 0.4 plus 1.6 for investment, divided by 1 minus 0 0.8. In other words, we're going to get 2 divided by 0 0.2, which is just equal to 10. So that's the equilibrium level of GDP, and that's exactly what we found in the table. We can also find the equi equilibrium level of consumption. Th that equilibrium level is just equal to what our behavioral equation tells us will happen when we have equilibrium level of income. So 0 0.4 plus 0 0.8 times 10, which is our equilibrium income. So that gives us 8 plus 0 0.4 gives us 8.4, the level of consumption we see in equilibrium in the table. And we can even figure out equilibrium level of savings. The equilibrium savings level is just going to be the difference between income in equilibrium and consumption in equilibrium. 10 minus 8.4 gives us 1.6, our equilibrium level of savings. 